Good evening, and thank you all for coming to my informative speech. Uh, my name is Alex Eckstein, and I'll be getting you up to speed on, on uh, everything you need to know on climbing the tallest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. Uh, it's 29,029 feet tall, 21, 21 Empire State Buildings on top of each other. Uh, the ascent is a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, 60 to 70, 70 days recommended. Only 20 to 25 of those days you'll be climbing. Uh, the other, or most of the days you'll be getting to, you know, each new camp and then venturing a little bit in, uh, out of your camp's area and then going back. And um, hopefully you'll get in contact with some Sherpas. Uh, they're the native people that live around uh, Nepal if you're going for, through that through the a south uh, route and um, they'll help you out pitch your tent um, may is statistically the best month uh, it has the highest number of successful summits uh, due to it being in the middle of spring when the weather is the warmest out of the 15 trails that have been charted up the mountain the northeast and the southeast routes have seen more successful ascents than the other 13 combined uh, the southeast route is the same route that the first people who climbed it, uh, it was uh, a Nepalese guy by the name of Tenzing Norgay and a, a New Zealander by the name of Sir Edmund Hillary. Uh, it was 1953, if I didn't say that. Uh, so if you're doing the southeast route, you'll start in Nepal, you'll venture through four base camps. Uh, I've already said that. Uh, you'll go uh, to the Kumbu Ice Falls, that's your first obstacle. There's a bunch of uh, aluminum bladders laid out across the ice and uh, there's, uh, you don't want to look down. There's long drops uh, underneath. And uh, a lot of Sherpas actually take the fall for a lot of Westerners. Uh, on the next obstacle is the Lhotse Face. It's a glacial wall that's attached to the fourth highest mountain in the world, the Lhotse Mountain. Uh, after that is the Geneva Spur. It's a rock formation. And they say, uh, this is a little side note, they say that Everest is actually getting uh, like an inch or two taller every year because of the plates. And so if that gives you anything about, any information about why these formations are the way they are. And then the fourth obstacle on the way to the summit is the Hillary Step. It's named after Sir Edmund Hillary himself. 40 foot tall rock uh, that you're supposed to navigate. And then uh, 500 feet above that is the summit. Um, during a climb, you're gonna wanna eat small meals. Too much food in your stomach. Uh, your body's gonna wanna start focusing on digestion and uh, you want it to be focusing on breathing. Uh, foods high in sugar are recommended. Uh, uh, it's harder for your body to digest protein the higher you climb. So you're going to want to eat noodles, canned meats, uh, trail mix, and some veggies. Anyway, uh, that concludes my speech. Thank you all for coming.